bunch of things are about to pop up because humans are landing on Mars. So here we go. Milestone achieved. And here they come, bounding out of the rocket for their new life. And those little house icons just mean, yay, I'm happy I have a place to live. So the whole group is coming in. And the little dollar sign that pops up means, yay, I have a place to work. Right, so this should have filled in with our three botanists, which you see there. So if you right click and go down to the shift and you can actually Research look at them individually. Complete. They have good morale because they're working where they're supposed to be working. Same thing with the two medics probably. Yeah, there's our two medics, one in each. We've got our two there and we should have two in the grocers. All right, and I'm gonna pause real quick. So this little thing with the three cubes means that the, the building doesn't have the right resources to work. In this case, it's food. There is also food on the rocket. Whenever a rocket arrives with colonists, it has one food per colonist on it, basically. So we do need a place to unload the food. So we're gonna put down a food depot kind of right here by the rocket. So whenever a rocket arrives, there's a place for the food to go. Otherwise, the closest place was all the way over in this, uh, yeah, this universal depot here. And actually, we forgot to put a universal depot down next to this drone hub. So let's do that. That should help too. And we're going to turn off food here because we want it there closer to the dome. And we're going to turn off rare metals for now. But otherwise, everything else will also eventually make its way there. And actually, since the since the rocket's here now, we're going to also put a fuel depot next to it. So we start getting fuel over here. So let's do fuel depot right back here. And I put it kind of farther, farther away, still close to the rocket, but farther from other things, because sometimes a meteor will hit your fuel depot and it will explode. All right, and then right trigger, and let's say the desired amount we want is 30, because that's always what we need to, for the rocket to take off. And let's do another pause real quick and look at all these things that popped up that we haven't looked at yet. So we, we completed a research, um, and dome buildings require less maintenance. Let's not worry about the other adding to the queue yet. Our colonists arrived. Yep, let's dismiss that. We knew that. Milestone, first human on Mars. So we got that one. The next one we're hoping for is either produce food, and it'll probably be produce food, and then eventually first Martian born. In the beginning, this is just a little informational message. The first Should have music behind it, right? So this is telling us it's entered founder stage, and you'll see that's this message here, which if you activate it, just shows you the encyclopedia. You can't dismiss it, so that's going to stay there until founder stage ends. And that's either going to be that, what it says there, the 9 hours 20, or 9 saws 20 hours, or if somebody's born and you get a Martian born, that means you've successfully ended it well. So that's a way to end it early. Sector scan, we can dismiss that. Building's not working. That probably was a building at some point, but now it's a zero, so it would probably go away on its own, but I'll dismiss it. So that founder stage message will be up there for, for quite a while. So let's speed up and see if we can get this research lab built. That's going to take a while. So we'll leave it on kind of medium speed here. And which building is it that's not working? Con Why are you not Sector working? Scanned. Oh, that was quick. It was probably full. So that will happen sometimes is if the thing that's building that's producing something gets too filled up with it because it can only store up to 20 then it'll stop working until the drone gets over here and and moves some out there's not much we can do sometimes when that happens if there was no place to put it then we'd have to build another depot but that's kind of why I put two down right away so we wouldn't have to worry about that for a while so I'm gonna leave it on medium speed and kind of the the thing to do in founder stage while you're waiting for 
that to end one way or another, and you can then bring more colonists up, because we can't bring any more colonists, colonists until we get through founder stage, is to improve your economy and the other things that are produced. So the clear thing we want to do is get this water uh, exploited. So let's look and see if we can do that now. So that's the water extractor, right? So far we've been doing a moisture vaporator. Sector scanned. The moisture extractor is what will let us take water out of this little water node. So it's similar to that concrete, it needs to be close to it. There's a larger hex outside of it that will produce dust. And so we don't want any buildings in that larger size hex there. And we're going to connect it to that dome, so we'll put the pipes kind of in that general direction. And we'll go ahead and place that as well. And then let's connect, go ahead and put down the connections for it to get built as soon as they can. So we'll do the pipes. We need to draw the pipe from here, over here to the dome. And sometimes you got to play around with how it draws it. Um, it'll sort of pick what you kind of want it to do, but if you want it to go in a particular direction, like I want it to go here first and then go over. So I'm lining it up there and then go in this direction. All right, and then the water extractor needs power like everything else. And when we can, we're going to draw the power right under the pipes. And then the water extractor is going to also produce waste rock. So let's put a couple of dumping sites nearby. But not right next to, one away, so drones can still readily move around everything. We'll just put one there for now, because we need, still need to landscape that. And we're still waiting on our research building. How are we doing there? We're not getting electronics over there just yet, but they should make their way over eventually. We do have 10 around somewhere. They would have... Oh, and our mine thing's going over here. I kind of forgot about that. That's our special uh, thing for Japan where we don't need, actually need colonists in there. So we're also producing some good metals there. Oh, here's where it was. All ten are still there. They just haven't gotten it moved over. Yeah, I think we're going to need to get a transport here as soon as possible so we can move things around a little better. Oh, and our anomaly is scanned. So let's choose the next one. Dismiss you. All right, and what's our research queue looking like? We got two spots now. So what are we going to do here? Um, moisture upgrade. Actually, since we have colonists here, let's see if this is a good bonus to take. Engineers and geologists. We don't have an engineers and geologists yet, so that would be a silly one to do right now. We haven't really worried about power and wind turbines yet. You know what we're gonna do? Um, we're gonna do the one that gives us more storage for oxygen and water and power. Because we're in a moment, we're gonna talk about building up a surplus of that. And in, just in case we have to start tearing buildings down anytime soon, we'll do this decommission protocol. The way it starts out is you can you can turn off a building and destroy it, but you can't clear it away and make another building until you research that decommission protocol. And our farm is going, which is good. Sector scanned. All right. What's our sector scanning looking like? Bum, bum, bum. Time to fill it out more again. You're open. Just slowly building out and sticking to the low ground because we're not going to be able to get up to that high ground anytime soon either. All right, so we have another anomaly 
and it's one where we probably the might have a choice. Validates our predictive models of the electrically oh. charged dust devils. Bonus of 2,000 research. We'll research take that. Complete. All right, and then let's pick the next anomaly. Um, I'll keep the time going at least slowly. This will open up new technology. Let's do this one. Right now we have more technologies than we can research anytime soon, so that's why I'm sort of avoiding the anomalies that unlock other researches. Our concrete extractor's full again. Can't not. Ooh, that was a meteor that must have just landed. Good thing it didn't damage anything. Oh, our scientists and botanists do now have good performance. I forgot I put that into research, so that's a good thing. I'm starting to think there's a problem with them getting electronics over here for some reason. Let's see what might be causing that. No? You can reach Sectors. that. So we better prioritize this and then that way. There we go. Let's see if that makes a difference. And they'll start moving the right things over. Unfortunately, can't tell the drones to do very specific things like you could with the no. transport. Get up close Look at here. Ours, and you'll find it's oh, we discovered a rare deposit this time. All right, and then what's going to be our next anomaly to scan? Go with this one. Anomaly found. Now we're doing on our water here. Let's pluck it away. All right, so let's look at the the stockpile thing that I talked about. So we look at power. It will tell you how much storage capacity you have, and it will tell you how much power or how long it will last if you were to stop Sector producing scan. power and that's three hours and then for oxygen and water so oxygen we could go for up to five sols and then water it's one probably be two because we're not at full capacity there we can store up to 200 and we'll, we're only at 108 at the moment the general rule is you probably want to always have at least about three sols worth in the bank in case something happens uh, you know a Research dust storm complete. would stop your your moxies from producing oxygen completely which is the only thing that can produce oxygen at least to start later you can grow crops that will but i always just rely on the moxies um and then some things will shut down the moisture vaporators that kind of thing so you, you should always have at least three or so days of oxygen air power it's a little hard to get up to that much of a surplus but most of the big disaster things that happen wouldn't shut power production down completely. They would probably reduce it. So you can probably get away with having like one day on hand. Right now we're at three hours, so we should probably do something about that relatively soon. Um, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead, I'm going to wait until this gets built, but we'll probably do another. Um, ooh, we got some bad warnings here. What's going on? The are on the brink of dehydration. Ooh, we that's not good. Something quick before they die. All right, why are they not getting water? We've got, uh, what do we got? No life support. We got the moisture vaporator going. Um. We're waiting for this to be built. Once that's built, we shouldn't have a problem. I think, see, do we have a prefab moisture vaporator? We do. Let's go ahead and build you and prioritize you. Um. Oh, nope, not turn off. Yeah, so I was using the joystick. It's usually better to use the D-pad. All right, and we're going to prioritize you. So let's go ahead and speed up real quick and see if the drone builds that right away thank you all right so they're not dehydrated anymore good all right what's this we anomaly message found beagle 2. we found beagle 2 
it says reducing the cost of robotics by 10%. We like that. Next anomaly to scan. Let's go here for research. Check the research queue. Oh, we got three empty slots. So we just researched like three things in real, real quick succession. So what are we going to do now? Let's increase our drone battery production. Improving drones is always good. Since we just had that weird water issue, let's do this upgrade to the moisture vaporators, and actually let's prioritize that since we seem to have that issue from with water. Um, even though it should be fine once we get that water extractor built. And let's just do... Um, let's do... Oh, let's start with the seeds, since that's just low to research. And we might be able to get started on terraforming stuff. That's what seeds are for, is that when you start growing vegetation. Usually that's a much later in the game thing, but... So we're at about seven Sauls left on Founder Stage, unless somebody gets born. And hopefully we're about to get the milestone for producing food. That's getting close to the end. There's the bar there, showing how far we've gotten. And this battery still hasn't been built. We're waiting for polymers to get over here. We're waiting for polymers and electronics. Everything's in place for that to happen, so I don't know why they're so busy over here. You know what, I'm going to just temporarily turn off the concrete extractor so they stop having to worry about moving concrete. And we're going to turn off the fuel and we're actually going to turn off the metal because we're not as worried about those. And then maybe the drones will focus on moving these electronics and polymers over like we want them to. It's like they haven't even moved any yet here. Research complete. It's going to increase the desired amount and see if that does it. Alright, we got another anomaly. And, and let's do this one. Just because it's close. Alright, so now we can store more oxygen even, which is good. So our capacity went up there. Sector scanned. Oh, and see how we now we have select a sector to scan. So everything was happening so quickly, we need to do another whole full queue. So that's a total of 10. So there's current one and then the next of nine. And again, we're avoiding the mountains because we're not likely to find anything there for now. And let's just do this one. Okay. So did turning those things off get you guys off your butts moving stuff that we want? Looks like they're starting to, which is good. Yeah, okay, so we got that built. And this is now getting built. Okay, so that was a good thing to do. Sectors and we finally got electronics research. coming over here. Okay, good. So once these are built, then Great we'll turn those together. other things back on. All right, a whole bunch of things popped up. Let's slow down and look at these. All right, so that's a breakthrough that just came to our attention. So the breakthroughs are usually bigger technologies. So there are things called spires that we'll build eventually. Um, but we had, ooh, we had two slots though. Let's fill those. See, now we have so many choices, it's hard to know exactly what to do next. Ooh, we're gonna do this one. Um, so passenger rockets carry 10 more. If you, if you were to get that kind of at the very beginning, then your first group of colonists could be uh, like 22 instead of 12, which would have been nice, but you don't always get that one to start. Smart home. Uh, uh, let's just do... We'll 
do the Sterling Generator one. That would just let us build them without needing them to be a prefab that we get from Earth. Dismiss. Oh, we got our Moisture Vaporator upgrade, so let's let's do that upgrade. So to upgrade a building, you would you can click on it, and now you see that option upgrade. Uh, was it hydroscopic coating? So you do right click, move over to it. You can either upgrade the one that you're looking at or upgrade all of them. It's two polymers each. We have only 10 polymers. I'm just going to upgrade one for now until we get more polymers up here. But that will just help make sure we're producing a lot of water. Since we got low on water there for a moment. But now that this bad boy's built, we're probably not going to have much to worry about for a while. Just Sector one more scan. look. Here we go. Now, but I'm going to pause real quick. So one of the reasons I was so concerned is if you go up here, right, and you look at this as the jobs. So our poor scientists have been unemployed here until that building got built, which means their comfort was less. Um, if I was thinking, I probably could, should have opened up the, the other three slots. Actually, they may have started working. No, because I turned that off. So it probably would have made sense to leave this set to be to allow anybody to work there and then our scientists could be have been in those other three slots and even though they would have been getting a, a penalty they would have at least been working so hindsight is 2020 sometimes but as soon as this gets built the the scientists should immediately start working in there and being happy and there they are all right and it's now auto saving sometimes that takes a while to do so I can't click on anything, but I can move around. So we're going to have to turn these back on now that everything over here is built. We've got better situation for water. We still have some sterling generators, so we can improve the, the power. But we should start thinking about the other ways to improve power. And those are going to be either solar panels or wind turbines. So we're probably going to start with wind turbines because for the solar pan, uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to start with solar panels, not wind turbines. The wind turbines you want on higher ground, so we're probably not going to start building those until we have access to this higher ground up here, because then the those wind turbines will ha produce more power because they'll be higher up. So we'll probably do like a solar farm down here too, so we're not relying only on the Sterling generators, and we'll probably put that on the edge somewhere. Like over here along this edge would probably good, be good. We'll landscape it flat to the farthest border we can. And we'll do a solar farm probably over here maybe. And then eventually the wind farm. And we may start thinking about, you know, the next colonists we'll bring. So we're going to need another three botanists for here. We can open up another shift here on the research lab for another three scientists. And then we can start bringing uh, the other one is officers. So you want a security station. So this is like a police force, but this keeps, you know, crime from happening and from citizens turning into renegades because then they'll go around robbing and, and causing all kinds of mayhem. So we we'll definitely want officers up here eventually as well. Engineers are going to be in buildings that produce those advanced resources. Uh, we got the basic resources covered, we, so we're making metals with this metal mine. We're making the concrete. We're making food now in the, there, and we've got the uh, fuel that we're making. And the autosave finally turned off. So the next thing we're going to want to do is the, the polymers. And we do have the prefab of that building. That's the, the polymer factory. Actually, we don't have a prefab of that. So that we're going to have to get that as well. So that's the polymer factory is what will produce those. And that's what we'll need engineers for, as well as electronics or machine parts. And the electronics are produced from the rare metals. The machine parts are produced from the regular metals. Anomaly found. All right, why are you not have food? 
Oh, we're at, we're at zero food, so this really needs to... Oh, it did produce the food. All right, so we just got that milestone, so let's slow down real quick. So we got our produce food milestone, which is good because we just ran out of food, <laughs> so we did that just in time. Um, so now you see the drones are now very quickly moving the food over to the two buildings that provide the food. And then any surplus they'll bring out here. I think I'm actually gonna gonna say to do wheat now instead of the soybeans. The wheat's gonna get produced probably a little quicker, but it's not gonna improve the soil. But since we sort of ran out of food there, I was a little concerned. So let's just do get a batch of wheat in here. And then we got the decommission. Um, let's just randomly pick something. We'll probably change our mind before we get to it eventually anyway. Let's just choose that. And dismiss, dismiss. Alright, so since everything's built over here and these drones are now a little idle, you can see they're just sitting there not doing anything. Let's go ahead and, and start flattening this mountain as well. We'll leave it playing here. And uh, let's do so flatten. And we're going to go ahead and try to do the full size thing here. And we'll go to... We've got that dumping ground there. Let's do this much. If you do too much, it could keep them just busy a little too long. And then let's just check. Let's pause real quick and check. Yeah, that's four over 400 rock that needs to be moved away. So I think that's a little too big. So we're going to cancel that. So that's just this is cancel construction. Whoops. Zoomed out too far. So let's just take a little bit less of the mountain here to start. So we're going to decrease that. Let's just take a little chunk here. And that's only 95. Yeah, so it's probably good to do about a, a hundred waste rock at a time. The actual dumping site can only hold up to about 300, so 285. And we also got the water extractor putting stuff there. Ah, when life gives you lemons, what is that? Building a new home on an alien world. Ops is just telling us that one of our founders has a particular trait. Usually you get this once at the beginning of the game. and not, Neither of these really do anything specific. Um, I don't know why they give you two. This is something I don't know about. Now we can upgrade this water extractor here. Um, you can see how the upgrade's there and grayed out. Let's see what that costs. Usually it's polymers. I'm not really going to upgrade things because we only have eight polymers right now. So until we start, until we start producing them, we kind of want to go easy on what we upgrade. And we forgot to turn these back on. Let's do that. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Okay, Sector so let's turn on that again. Turn you on again. We had enough stockpiled that it wasn't a big deal. And turn you on again. And let's see how the fuel is doing getting over here. We haven't checked that yet. All right, we're not getting any fuel, which means maybe it's turned off here. Yes, I turned it off. So you see there, I turned it off. Eh, that was dumb. So let's turn this on, and now they'll start moving moving the fuel over. And we actually, we have another fuel extractor. So I'm, I'm actually going to put that down over here so that we're also producing fuel over here near the rocket. Uh, where is that? Here we go. Alright, so we'll put you here. So that'll help us get the rocket back. So we can get maybe a transport here. And maybe some more drones. And how are we on Founder So We're at five. Sector okay. scanned. We're hoping a couple of our colonists get busy. Make a baby. I mean, what else is there to do on Mars? I mean, if you're botanist, it's just farm and then, you know. So the way that kind of works, um, just talk about that a little bit. So there's a comfort level. Um, so if you look at the drone here, so we'll do right trigger and go down. So the, these things down here tell you kind of the average health. You know, that's up there pretty good. Uh, average sanity. So they lose sanity if they lose too much comfort. So our average comfort's 60, which isn't so good. Um, 
we're missing relax okay so yeah let's let's maybe build that thing we talked about um, the open air gym so it's just exercise and it said relaxation so let's build a decoration instead so let's build a garden because that's going to get relaxation exercise and playing oh not a small garden but a regular garden probably should have done that at the beginning so that should hopefully uh, improve once that's built because then they can be relaxed Anomaly found. so we want to get that comfort bar up to the point where they're so comfortable that they'll want to have a baby let's speed this up so we can see if we can get this thing built and you know what I'm actually gonna build two small ones of that too I'm gonna build them where we'll eventually put the passage because we can always tear them down. Let's do small alleys. Research complete. We'll see if that helps improve the comfort faster. All right, now we can also bring more colonists once we enter exit founder stage. Let's research. Um, let's get a little bit extra money there. Oh, good. Our rocket's flashing. That means it's ready to send back to Earth. Okay, good. Let's send send you back so we can maybe get a transport here. Um, oops. Right bumper. All right. Right trigger. And send back. Lots of bumpering, triggering to get different places and different menus, which is one of the trickier parts of the game when playing it on Xbox. All right, so you'll see here we got some rocks just lying around. This is how our waste rocks are something we need to manage. So that means that this, this one is full. So let's build another one so that they have a place to take more. Uh, dun -dun, you. And let's put you kind of here. And that one's doing okay, so we'll... Oh, and we finished with our landscaping. Let's take another chunk out of this mountain. Let's go with about that. How much is that? That's 251. That's kind of a lot, but we're going to have to pluck away at it. And I'm just going to go ahead and build another dumping ground. Because that's almost an entire dumping ground worth of waste rock. And all right, so these are built now. Let's see if that has had an impact on the comfort level. It's going to take a while for them to get relaxed. So the social we have um, in the dining uh, diner, and the shopping we have in the grocer. Um, so I think we're just randomly getting a colonist that hasn't been able to get in there and shop. But I think if we have the polymers, and we do, I am going to go ahead and do the open air gym. Because that doesn't require anybody working there, and that could help improve comfort as well. Oh, and how long have we been waiting for the explorer to assign him? Can tell you how many times that happens to me when playing this game. I wish it, I'm, I wonder if there's a way to make it bounce up and down like it does for other things, so then it would catch my eye. Let's see. One of these. Rename, follow, pinned, move. Yeah, unfortunately not. It's just a matter of paying attention. are we doing on food? So we're 19. Okay. Yeah, I think it just got a little close because we only got 10 food to start. And we had to wait for the first round to be produced. So we should probably be good for now, at least for a little while. There's a little bit of a scare to have an issue with food so early on. 
Ooh, what do we get? First Martian boat. Oh, here we go. So we've ended founder stage and gotten the first Martian boat. Martian born. Um, so there we go. So we have reached the end the of founder time, stage. And this is our has been born on Mars. big big message for that. It's been evaluated well. And we're at just about an hour. So uh, I think we will end it here. So we've gotten our colonists to Mars, and we've gotten through to Founder Stage. Um, so we will pick up uh, on this maybe next week, and we will be working towards getting us more colonists up now that we can move more colonists here, getting additional domes built and how they get connected to each other, and just continuing to build toward having an atmosphere. It's going to be a long journey. <laughs>